Hello everyone, my name is Maurice McGeehan and I am the performance chef for the RFU based in the High Performance Centre in Abbottstown. Over the next couple of weeks I'm going to be doing a few videos. Some are going to be the favourites from the national teams over the Six Nations. But I'm also going to show you how to get your best out of what you buy from cooking at home. How to maximise your options while minimising your food waste and more importantly, less trips to the shop and more bang for your buck. So, one of the things we're going to look at today is the whole chicken. Uh, whole chicken is a great way to maximise what you can get for your family. Um, I'm going to show you how to get 10-12 portions with three different types of dishes out of this. Now normally we buy whole chickens to roast and if we want a chicken breast we buy a chicken breast or a chicken leg, we buy a chicken leg, drumstick, wings and so on. But not many people buy chickens and break them down themselves. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to show you little techniques on how to bone it and then how to use every little bit of that chicken once we have it broken down. So the first thing's first. All chefs have red boards. We're always into our cross contamination, so red would be for raw meat. Um, we don't want this to be sliding, so a little trip, trick we use is we put a wet cloth underneath it and this just stops the board from moving so you can see how solid that is now so I'm okay to put the chicken on so the chicken's here so I got this chicken it's a free range chicken um, it's a large one so if you're going to do this and try and get 10 to 12 portions out of it I recommend trying to get the biggest one you can and always try and go for Irish and free range if at all possible now the first thing I want to do here is I'm going to face the chicken this way and then we're going to look at the legs so these are legs wings breasts and then you've got the back now, part of the back is some of my favorite parts. You can see the two lumps here. These are called the oysters, and I'm, I'm gonna to come to them later. So, first things I wanna take off is, I'm gonna take off the legs. So I'm gonna hold the chicken here, make sure it's firm. Or it's, pull this out, and you'll see this bit of skin here. Just get the knife, just do small, small strokes at the start, all the way down. And then you can, you can see here, that skin is going there. So you can bring it all the way down, all the way down small strokes don't try and do it in one big one because what could happen is there is if you're not used to a sharp knife you may cut yourself but also you may just tear into parts where you want to save so you'll come then to bring it all the way down here and then you'll see the little joint you can, you can dislocate that out and then you'll still see it's connected here so what you want to do is get into the close to the bone as you possibly can and then bring that out like that and then it'll sit there and then you just do the same on the other side. Cut through the skin, little strokes, turn it around. Now when I started off chefing 24 years ago, we used to have to do hundreds of these every week. So uh, I could actually do these blindfolded, I've done that many in the past, but nowadays chefs get a lot of the cuts pre-butchered, all broken down for them. Next part, I've just noticed that I'm missing the wing happen that but anyway next part now is I'm gonna take the wing bone off so let's slide into there and take that off all right so the wing will be over there now I want to start on the, on the breast there's a little bit of a kind of a sinew and skin that's coming into there the cavity you want to cut that you want to get that out now if you're in fine dining which I don't expect you to do but this is where the wishbone is and a lot of chefs will actually cut into there and they'll take the wishbone out now at this stage. And that will help f facilitate uh, carving when the chicken's cooked, but also helps it when you're um, boning. Now, I don't expect you to do that now, because I just want you to do the kind of basic skills of, uh, of boning down a chicken. So we're gonna cut in here, slightly bring it up, as close to the bone as you can, slowly, slowly, slowly. So then you can see the bones here. Then bring it all the way down. You can see that slowly 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 you know chefs do it really fast speed comes to you with time I don't expect anybody to do this fast I want you to take your time and do it right and make sure that you leave no meat on the bone so I'll come around here cut that bit off and then again you come down to here where you got that joint another joint this is the wing joint this time before you had the leg joint so you can see that little ball joint you cut through here now you can see the size of that breast now. That, that's absolutely huge. You know, and that's going to feed a lot of people as well. So you can leave the wing on it if you want, or you take it off. It's up to you. For this dish, I'll be doing later, I'm going to take them off. And then we'll leave that there. And then we'll repeat the process on the other side. 
your knife up. Slowly, slowly, coming down here. Pull it back through the thumb. There's a little bit of uh, cartilage here. Just be careful not to um, cut through it. You want to cut on the outside of it. Then you bring that down. Cut through there. The wing bone is missing. And there, this is what we have so far. Now, if you want to look at the oysters, I'm sure a lot of you heard the oyster, chicken oysters. The oysters are here. And they're one of my favorite parts of the chicken. You see them there? It's two bits of meat there. I'm gonna leave them on that. Because one of the dishes that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an entire dish for four people just with the carcass. I'm gonna show you how to make a lovely, lovely stock. Pick off whatever meat we can afterwards to include in the dish. But that stock's gonna be like a chicken bone broth. And it's gonna go with some lovely noodles and aromatics as well. Okay, so now that we have our chicken broken down, I just want to talk through what's going to be used for which dishes. So the first dish we're going to do is going to be chicken cacatori, which is an Italian hunter um, chicken. So we're going to use the legs for this. So what I'm going to do with the legs is I'm going to separate the knuckles and I'm going to cut them in half, leave them to one side. Second thing then, second dish then is a Punjabi, Punjabi chicken curry. We're going to do with the breasts. We're going to do it for four people. And with, with the breasts as well, I want to take off the fillets. So you can see the fillets down here. Because there's a lot of meat on those breasts. I'm just going to take off some of that meat and use it for another, another dish as well. But I also want to take off the fat. So I don't want the fat to go into Punjabi curry, even though fat is flavour. I want to put that into the, with the carcass. We're going to put that into the stock. And that's going to add a lot of depth of flavour into the stock as well. So I'm going to take the skin off this side as well. Now, so here we go, we've still got a lot of meat there, I'm just going to take a little bit more off, then we can add into the carcass to the soup, the chicken noodle soup that we're going to do um, next week. Let's just take a little trim of the fat off as well. So, so that's the breasts, that's the legs for the, for the kakatori, Punjabi chicken, and then for the chicken noodle soup. I want you to freeze this. I want you to wrap this up, put it in the freezer, and then we'll, we'll come back to it next week. Because chicken dishes three days in a row. Like I like chicken, but three days in a row might be a bit too much. But anyway, so I want to put these to the side. Also going to use the wings. I mean the wings, if you are going to do this a lot, what you can do is you can build them up. You can freeze these separately and when you think you have enough, take them out and you can do different dishes with them as well. But for now, because we're only going to do this once, I'm going to put the wings in with the uh, carcass and that'll add to the flavour, the lovely depth of the uh, chicken stock. For the chicken for the cacatori, I'm just going to freeze that. For the chicken for the cacatori, again, we're going to separate this little piece here. So if you cut into there, you can see the knuckle, the joint. You want to cut through there. So you can separate the leg meat. You separate the drumstick from the thigh. Now, the thighs, apart from the oyster, is another of my favorite parts of the chicken. Now you notice that there's dark meat and there's white meat. You'll see that in pork legs as well. Now the dark meat and the white meat. So the, the dark meat would be the, the, the meat that the chicken uses for its, for its walking. And then the white meat then would be the muscle it used for its running, for its sprinting. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I want to take off this knuckle. So if you have got a big knife, if you don't, don't do it probably, but if you do, kind of give it a wee slice here. Get the knife and go. Bring it out. So you're slicing through the bone. This is another part that I want to use for the chicken stock. So I'm going to add that into here. And I'm going to do the same with the other one, just a little slice on the knuckle, and then bang, down. Now you could use a cleaver and smash it, but the problem with that is you'll have bone splinters. If you do it this way, you get a nice clean cut through the bone, and you don't get any shards in your meat. So, I think we're good to go. I'll just show you everything we have here for... So, the Kakatori, Punjabi, and broth.